Please be sure and go to iTunes to purchase the brand new single, Old School Rock and Roll, by the Greg Golden Band, featuring yours truly, Frank Hannon, on lead guitar. Hey, what's happening? I'm Frank Hannon, lead guitarist of Tesla. We are here in Reno, Nevada at the one and only Bizarre Guitar. And today, we're gonna to be playing some old school rock and roll, and we're gonna be getting our hands on an original 1958 Gibson Flying V, an original Karina guitar, one of 82 made from 1958. So check it out, we're going inside the Bizarre Guitar right now. Follow me. All right, so here we are, we're inside Bizarre Guitar. I want to introduce to you Mr. Greg Golden. How you doing, guys? So, so tell us, uh, how long you been in business here? Been in business here, this will be our 42nd year. Started in 1974. 1974, and uh, what got you into uh, wanting to own a guitar shop? Always play guitar, always in bands, touring bands, local bands, every kind of band, and just start buying guitars, fixing them, selling them, set, uh, setting them up, and I start having too many and start selling them, and just developed the business from that. Always enjoyed selling, playing, anything to do with guitars, fixing them, etc. So I opened the shop. There's Greg. Oh yeah? There's, oh there's the three of us, right on. And then there was us down there. Yeah? And then we did the gigs there, whatever that was. Alright, I'm on the wall of fame, man. Check it out. <laughs> All right, we're about to enter the vault. This is where the cream of the crop of all the guitars that Greg has collected live. And uh, follow us. Fifty-nine Les Paul Sunburst, all original Les Paul Standard. Fifty-seven Gold Top. Fifty-nine Triple Pickup Custom. 7500 bucks. I bought this guitar in 1982. 82 for 500 bucks. Not even 400. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty close though. Yeah, it was a 67. It's amazing how much those have gone up. Yeah. All right, so here we are. We're in the vault and we're getting ready to get our hands on the 1958 Gibson Flying V original Karina model. One of 82, original 1958. It's right here. Greg, tell us about this guitar, man. It's a 1958, as Frank said, uh, one of 82 made. It's a Karina wood, which is actually a poisonous wood from Africa. That so not nerdy, much more poisonous than redwood, but it's, it, it's, they only made 82 because after that they sort of banned the wood. But it has unusual characteristics and tones. It's really killer. And this is 100% stock. Um, tuners, it's, it's checked. It's a two-piece body. So Greg, so you acquired this guitar, you told me, from a little old lady that had it? Yep, 1970 or 71. The summer of 1970, you acquired this guitar. How did you find it? I was actually playing in Carson City uh, at a gig at the uh, youth center there, and a lady approached me that her sister had it from Texas, and a few months later I ended up spending everything I had in the bank to get it. I'm to it plays itself. Listen to that. <laughs> hey, why don't we go plug it in? Yeah, let's go. We're going to go plug this thing in and rock old school. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we're plugging this back in. This is the 58 Flying V. 
We're gonna trade off some licks here. <laughs> Killer, they do, they do. That so tell us about your Les Paul. This is a 54 Les Paul that I've had since it's about the same time as the V, and this is the one I, guitar I've always, almost always played most of my gigs and stuff on. I had a Bigsby on it, factory, it's a 54. I took the Bigsby off, I stunk a, I put a uh, stop tail and a uh, tunematic on it, and it had P90s, and I routed it for humbuckings. And since then, I've replaced the pickups on it for the, the hottest pickups I have. This is an 8, 889 in the rear and an 893 in the front, homage wise. And those are both over 8.5, which puts it probably in the last, the rarest of, the, you know, a top couple percent for for, for gain. Although, guy, jazz guys want the low, low gain, low owned pickups. So those work great for jazz guys, but these are the best of the best for pickups for rock and roll. Those are factory on that. These I've traded mini guitars and, to get the pickups. But. So these are original Gibson PAF pickups. Both, both, both this and that. The same kind of pickup, same year. 58, 58 on that, 59 on these. And the output, the power is hotter than most. Yes, well, hotter than almost all. And that's what Eddie Van Halen was looking for back in the old days, right? That's correct. The, the original Gibson PAF pickups with the hot outputs. Yep. Guys would hunt for old vintage Gibson guitars. They would take the pickups out and measure them with an ohm meter to see if they were hot. Only later though, when the first started that, people really didn't really know how to do that, and then they kind of caught on in the mid-70s, I would say. But yeah, I've always done that, swapped them around for kind of the, the you know, to suit your ear. So you know, these are the stock PAFs that came on this guitar. That's factory, electronic, factory electronic, electronic. unsoldered. This original. guitar has not been touched. Nothing, there's nothing <coughs> original about it. The only thing it's, it's got some wear and some, some marks. I bought it from Lady, she played it in a rock band, or a country band of all things. Yeah. In the, in the 50s, and so anyway, it's got a few uh, dents and deals yeah. on it, but it's, it's great, all 100% original. 100% original, 58 Flying V. We're gonna have a great time today, check it out. All right. One, two, three.
right, we hope you enjoyed this video. Old school rock and roll. It's time to put the 1958 original Gibson Flying V back to bed. Good night, baby. <laughs> Sleep tight until next time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> back in the vault. Good night, y'all. Take care. Please be sure and go to iTunes to purchase the brand new single, Old School Rock and Roll, by the Greg Golden Band, featuring yours truly, Frank Hannon on lead guitar.